Hey guys, it's Katie of Love Sweat Fitness here for the Live Strong Get Lean in 2018 Challenge. You can work out day in and day out, but if your nutrition is off, you're not gonna see the result of all your hard work. Today I have a simple grab and go breakfast recipe that's gonna give you the healthy fats, proteins, and carbohydrates you need to fuel your body to get those results you're looking for. It's a coconut raspberry chia seed pudding that's perfect really for any time of day, and all you're gonna need is some chia seeds, coconut milk, fresh raspberries, and one banana. All right, so we talked about this recipe having the healthy fats, the proteins, and the carbohydrates you need, but the other thing it has a ton of, which is super important, whether you're trying to fuel your body in the morning or throughout the day, is that it has a lot of fiber. So just in two tablespoons of chia seeds, you're gonna get about 10 grams of fiber. So if you're looking for a way to make sure you're keeping that belly de-bloated, nice and flat and lean, this is an awesome way to do it. So it's a really easy recipe. All we're gonna do is take about a cup of fresh raspberries, and if you have a large blender, this is just like an individual one, any size is fine, so just dump them in there. Then I'm gonna take a half of a banana, and this will actually make almost four servings, which is really good because you can have something in the fridge ready to go for the entire week or for the whole family. So just drop that banana in. And then I'm using some reduced fat coconut milk. It, coconut is really, really good for you, but it also does have a lot of fat, healthy fats, but you wanna keep an eye on it. So using the reduced fat one here, and if you have almond milk or a cashew milk or something else at home, you can totally use that as well. And we're gonna use a cup. So sometimes you'll see it has this nice coconut cream on top. That's good, it's gonna add so much flavor to this recipe. So I'm gonna just scoop some of that out first. Woo, really got you there and add about a tablespoon of that, plus the cup of coconut milk. And it just smells so good. I love using coconut milk. All right, and just dump it right in, and we're gonna blend it up. All right, look at this color. It is so gorgeous. Perfect for going into February, a month of love. All right, open it up. And then I'm just using these little mason jars with lids, but really you can use any type of container that you can store in your fridge that's gonna be a good like single serving. So I'm gonna set that there. And we're using these black chia seeds. Clean this guy off. And then I'm gonna add two tablespoons of the chia seeds for my single serving. Nice big full tablespoons there. And then just dump the mixture right on top. Fills it up. It's about a quarter of a cup to a half a cup there. And then I'm gonna stir that up to make sure you really coat all of the chia seeds. Because if you look really carefully, you can see they're kind of stuck at the bottom, that liquid sitting on top. But we wanna stir it up so that they get completely covered and the chia can really soak it up. All right, looks pretty good. And then this is totally optional, but I told you I love coconut. So I have just these little coconut flakes I like to drop on top. And you guys, you can make this your own. You can change up the fruit. You can add a nut butter if you like almond butter or peanut butter. Just gonna sprinkle that on top there. Look how cute that looks already. With that pink color, a little coconut. And I'm gonna put the lid on it and stick it in the fridge overnight and check this out. The next morning, you'll wake up and have a perfect snack, if you can get it open. Look at that. Ready to go, chia seed pudding. I'm gonna show you guys how good this is. And the chia kinda gets that gelatinous texture around it, but oh my gosh, it's gonna be so delicious. So you just do the same thing with the two tablespoons for each serving of chia seeds until you're out of the liquid. Again, it'll make about three or four servings. And then you're gonna have a perfect 
protein and antioxidant plus fiber packed either breakfast or snack to make sure you're fueling those workouts. You guys are doing so good. Make sure to keep hashtagging get lean in 2018. I can't wait to see your progress and to check out more recipes and workouts with me, head over to lovesweatfitness.com. Bye.